What is up guys, Asan Malik back here, and today we have two brand new LEGO Marvel CMF leaks. These CMF leaks keep on coming in, and today we got two new figures, that being Sylvie and Spider-Man as the Sorcerer Supreme. Now right off the bat, I do want to let you guys know that I can't be showing the images in this video. As you guys know, LEGO could give me a copyright strike, which would do a lot of damage to my channel. So instead, I want you guys to click on that link in the description, which will take you over to my Instagram, where I have the images posted. I know it's a little bit inconvenient, but don't worry, it's completely free, and and it'll help keep my channel safe. I usually post these sketchier Lego leaks on Instagram, so if you guys would like to keep up with these leaks or just contact me through DMs on Instagram, make sure to follow my page there. So I hope you guys can understand. Click on that link, head over there, look at the images, and then come back here. Okay, so I'm assuming that you guys have taken a look at the two figures. So now let's go ahead and talk about them. Let's start things off with Sylvie here. Now right off the bat, I do gotta say this minifigure does look a little bit too dark. I was kind of expecting her outfit to have a little bit more green. I know in the show her outfit is mainly black, but I don't know why. I just expected this minifigure to look a little bit more green. I do like the head molding here. It's a lot better than the Scarlet Witch minifigure. It does look like her crown is actually molded in in different plastic to her hairpiece. That's much better than what they did with the Scarlet Witch where her headpiece was just kind of printed on top. So I do like this a lot better. The print does look pretty accurate for what it's trying to represent. Again, I would have liked to see a little bit more green, but this still does look okay. Now it's pretty hard to tell in the image, but there actually is dual molded arms as well as arm printing on the figure. So that's pretty nice that they included that because I don't really think this figure even needed it. But hey, you know what? Any extra detail is a good thing. Now there is no leg printing here, but I do think this could be wrong. I do think the official minifigure will include leg printing. I know she doesn't have much detail in her legs, but just for a CMF series, it seems a little bit strange to not have any leg printing. Because obviously this isn't an official image or anything, parts can be swapped out and stuff like that. So I do hope the official variation of this minifigure will have some leg printing. Regardless, I do think Sylvie looks pretty cool and the more that I see her in the Loki TV series just makes this minifigure even better. This minifigure will also include an alligator Loki as well, which after episode 5 has become fairly iconic. So yeah, can't wait to get my hands on this one. Let's go ahead and look at the next minifigure here, which is Spider-Man as the Sorcerer Supreme. Now from the leaked image here, you can't really tell that this is Spider-Man as the Sorcerer Supreme. It just looks like Spider-Man in his regular homecoming outfit, and I think that may be completely intentional because what this is based off is the What If series, and in that series, Spider-Man is going to wear Doctor Strange's cape. So I think this minifigure is just the homecoming outfit, and on top of that, it's going to include that new mold for the Doctor Strange cape that we saw in the upcoming No Way home sets. So that is kind of speculation on my part. That is what I think this minifigure is going to include, but it could just be a cloth cape as well, but I really do hope it's that new mold. Anyways, looking at this Spider-Man minifigure, it looks completely detailed with so much printing all over the place. I already thought the original Spider-Man Homecoming suit was one of the best Spider-Man minifigures that we've ever seen. That minifigure had arm printing, dual molded legs, and leg printing on top of that. It was just completely decked out and super detailed. And this minifigure is kind of doing the exact same thing, except it's doing it with a lighter shade of blue. And I guess the reason they're doing that is because in the What If series, it's going to be animated, and the color is probably going to be a little bit lighter. And I think that's completely okay. It'll help differentiate this minifigure from the regular homecoming suit that we've seen before. So yeah, really awesome printing all over the place. It does look like he's using dual molded legs with the leg printing again. And honestly, with the lighter tone of blue here, I do think the minifigure looks pretty cool and it helps differentiate a little bit. Now, obviously we haven't seen this character yet. We do have to wait for the What If series to come out, but we will be seeing that around August or September and the CMF series will be officially released on September 1st. So we will see it when this show comes out. But yeah, guys, that will pretty much do it for these two brand new Lego Marvel CMF leaks. Again, I apologize I can't show the images in this video. I do know it's a little inconvenient, but please bear with me. It helps keep my channel safe. But yeah, guys, make sure to let me know what you guys think about these minifigures down in the comments below. Are you guys excited for the CMF series? And what do you guys think about the figures that have been revealed so far? I think so far my favorite minifigure might just be this Spider-Man just because of how detailed it is. So make sure to let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you guys would like to win one of these minifigures for free, make sure to enter my giveaway where I'm giving away $100 worth of your choice of LEGO sets. All you gotta do to enter is make sure you are subscribed to the channel, follow that link in the description, and then sign in with your YouTube account. That's it. Super simple and 100% free. So make sure to do that if you guys haven't done so already. And again, also follow my Instagram where I post these sketchier LEGO leaks. But that'll pretty much do it for me, guys. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.